Hello everybody, my name is Yestai, I'm from Purdue University and today I will show you the project that I made with my team. The team is called Information Solution for Business Need. And we created the project for that connects to the external device, MSR605, magnetic stripe reader. And it also connects to the access database where it can search the information. So, let's go and see this information system. As I said before, we are connecting to the access database and we are retrieving the information from it and we also pull the data from such magnetic card. So, the first thing I want to show you is access database. I want to show you what we have inside our access. The document is called clients. Basically, this information system is created for GIMP. So, as you see, there, there are four clients who are in our database. So, one of my cards is number three. The three is Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's, it has its start date and date expiration date. And the second one is number seven, I guess. It's Justin Bieber. He also goes to our gym, kind of. So, let's close this database and run our program. General program. It's admins. So in the beneath you see that the Java is connected to the external device. So this external device, MSR 605. So it has six, uh, 9600 uh, bits per second. It has stop bit like 8 bits. So now I, I want to show you how to get the information from such ID cards. We'll go to the read button. And I'll stop it. And we must wait for some second. As you see, the number three is appeared in the text ID. So now we are going to check is this number three on our access database. We'll go to the button verify. So it's I'm not sure saying yes. As I said, uh, as I showed you before in the access database. Uh, the red flag means that the expiration date is all already passed. So Arnold, for example, uh, for example, he don't have access to our gym. So we need to update this database because he will kill us if he comes to our gym and he doesn't have any access to it. So let's change it. Today is the 4th of December. So I'm going to change today's 4th. December, step on force, and I will give him access to go to our gym until the force is April. So he comes, he can come to our gym until April. I click update, I click clear, and also you can instead of swiping the card, you can just type the number three here and verify. Now you see the green button, it means he can pass to our gym, he can work out. So, let's go to the another card, it's Justin Bieber. So, let's go clear here, swipe it, and uh, wait some time. It's not, oh, it's not, sorry. It's not, I just misplaced the card. Here. This is number three. Seven. So it's number seven. We're going to retrieve the information from database. So it's Justin Bieber. His ID is seven. He started in this in September second. He finished at October. So what we are going to do with Justin Bieber is to delete him from our database. Delete, I was deleted, everything is fine. Clear, just want to start it again. So, the next time the information system, it will not show the uh, Justin Bieber because he's not in our database. I deleted him. As you see, no data in database, so everything is clear.
So we deal with the just amiibo from our database. So now we have pre-ID, ID7. So I want to include this ID7 to our database. So we will do it by using create button, which is on the left side. Uh, ID number is seven. First name is, I will write my name. The last name, I prefer to write the name of my teammate. His name is Talgat. And we started today's, today's December 4th. So basically, we are finishing in 2014. Uh, okay, let's say May, May 4th. I can add enough lots of time because it's our system. We can do whatever we want to do. Let's play button. You see the dialog window which says insert operation work properly. It means the new rows is added to our database. So now, now I want to check everything by our root button. So we cut the swipe it. Seven appeared on our text ID. So now I'm going to verify. Verify. We can pass together and go and work out to our dream. So thank you for watching our video. The next thing I want to tell to developers, the little tips. So if you want to do the same information system, uh, we use it RxTX library. You also uh, can use javax.com library. Basically they are the same libraries, even the code are the same. So there are lots of libraries, but don't buy the library for money. There are lots of free libraries where you can use them for magnetic card stripe readers. So thanks for watching. See you.